This last year has been both a transformative and unprecedented time for valleys to coast. During the last year, we have been making big steps towards getting the core business right. But like many other businesses, we were also impacted by the coronavirus and had to hit the pause button. Despite these challenges, our staff have responded well and produced some great results for the business and to support our customers in Bridgend. In the last year, we invested £6.9 million on planned repairs and improvement to our homes. Our Money Matters and Welsh Water teams put £1.26 million back into the pockets of our customers. Dealing with over 3,500 referrals and even helping a 99-year-old customer reclaim £5,000 just in time to celebrate their 100th birthday. In the last year, we also bought seven new homes off the shelf and built 33 new properties across the county ourselves, including smart new eco-homes which will guide us as we seek to lower our carbon emissions in the future. Our rent arrears remained steady at just 2.20% and 100% of our homes had valid gas safety certificates. At the year end, over 81% of customers reported they were satisfied with our services. And all this was before the coronavirus hit us all. Since then, each day has brought a new challenge but challenges we have met with skill and enthusiasm to help colleagues and customers. During the month of the COVID-19 lockdown, we were able to provide emergency support to nearly 300 furloughed, self-employed, vulnerable and shielding customers to ensure that throughout the pandemic, they would be financially secure. By the end of March, we moved the entire customer service hub to home working, maintaining all our services apart from face-to-face. We kept these services going nine till five every day to make sure that we could keep connected with our customers. Despite the restrictions, we've been able to carry out close to 3,000 emergency repairs, keeping both our customers and their homes safe. Our community housing teams adapted to new ways of working and different questions. As our day-to-day -day lives were flipped on their heads, our team kept theirs and went out of their way to help foster community spirit and keep in contact with our most vulnerable customers. We have also recruited a new Chief Executive and already are reviewing the lessons we've learned as we've moved throughout this pandemic to make the service delivery and our services much more robust and stronger into this new year. I can't thank you enough, both my new colleagues and customers, for the hard work, dedication and patience that you have shown in what I can only describe as challenging times. I know that when we look back, we will see this year as a defining one. We may not have always got things right, but I know we've taken the opportunity to think differently, work differently and live differently. I really am hoping that this next year will bring some normality back into our lives. And in the meantime, we are committed to continue to provide you with homes where you feel safe and happy.